Hey guys, this is Patrick Sessoms with Do South Outfitters, Fly Shop and Guide Service in Boone, North Carolina and Better Elk, North Carolina. Uh, we wanted to take a minute today to talk to you guys about um, stream regulations in North Carolina. With the delayed harvest season approaching quickly, uh, it actually starts next Monday for us. Um, we thought we'd take a minute just to kind of give you guys some of the details on what our streams in our area um, are like to fish and what the regulations are. Reason being, we have a lot of folks come in to the shops that are really confused about what diamond means what, where you can keep fish, where you can't keep fish, what bait you can use, what fly you can use. So we wanted to give you guys a, just a quick synopsis of this to hopefully avoid some of this confusion as you head out to the streams to fish this fall. But uh, nonetheless, let's go and get started. The first designation I'd like to talk about is delayed harvest. Seeing that our delayed harvest season starts this coming Monday, that'd be October 1st, um, I think it's really imperative that folks realize what that is and also the difference in that and hatchery supported water because in the fall they do um, overlap and uh, in essence you could be fishing an area that's catch and release only whereas you might think it's actually a catch and keep fishery. So let's talk about this. The state of North Carolina does a pretty good job of designating streams um, that are under certain restrictions. And what they'll do is they're gonna show you what restriction the stream is under with a diamond. And they'll look like this. Um, and there's different colors. Let me grab a couple more here, just so you can kind of differentiate what they look like. So here's some different diamonds. Um, the delayed harvest diamond is black and white. Wild stream would be this kind of yellow or golden blue. And then a hatchery supported stream is green and white. And so if you're an angler, and I get asked this all the time by clients, how do you know what the regulations are when you're out fishing? If you see one of these diamonds on the stream, what's nice about it is it's going to show you, A, what the regulation is here or what the designation is. And then it's also going to show you kind of the rules around it um, on the bottom here. And it just says NCWRC designated public mountain trout water. What this means is you are good to fish here. You're okay to fish in this area as long as you abide by the rules that are listed on the diamond. So. Like I was saying, delayed harvest will start this coming Monday, October 1st, and let's get into the details about it because um, as a guide, I see a lot of folks fishing delayed harvest with worms, power bait, corn, things like that, and it's absolutely illegal and you can get a ticket for that. On top of that, if you're a fly angler, there's stuff you can do as well that'll get you in trouble. So let's talk about some of this. General rules about delayed harvest. Okay. October 1st through the first Saturday in June, this is a catch and release fishery. I can't emphasize this enough. Although they're fishing this river, they are not meant to be taken out or in this stretch of river. These fisheries, um, the state will stock starting that first of October and they'll stock October, November, then they'll go again in March, April, May. So those five months, the state will stock. They don't stock in the winter partially because the water's cold and those fish should be holding over fine. However, that first Saturday in June, you can start keeping fish again out of the delayed harvest. Um, but the thing about that is that first Saturday morning, uh, it's, it's youth fishing only. Long story short, you cannot keep fish out of a stream if as the black and white diamond in North Carolina, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, or May. Okay, all those months, it's closed to keeping fish. You can practice catch and release. However, you can only fish single hook artificial lures only. One thing to note about this, for guys that are fishing soft plastics, things of that nature, your lure or your bait, if you will, cannot be scented. So um, gulp, power bait, um, you know, scented bass soft plastics that have garlic flavor or coffee flavor. Technically, all of these are illegal to fish during this time because they are scented, and that would make them a bait, not an artificial lure. Things you can fish with if you're spin fishing. Rooster tails, um, rapalas, here's the catch. They have to be single hook, which means that um, no treble hooks. So one way to get around this, if you, say you're fishing a rooster tail, and uh, it's got a treble hook on it where it's got three prongs on it. You can clip two of the prongs and make it a single hook lure. 
Another thing, a lot of these lures will make trout-specific lures for regulations such as this that are already rigged with a single hook. But if you are a conventional angler, make sure, you know, if you're plug fishing or lure fishing, you are fishing single hook because if you have a treble, it is illegal. No scented, no scented lures as well or no scented flies. Um, as far as fly fishing goes, um, it's still single hook, artificial only. Don't scent your flies. You can't like soak your flies in, you know, gel or goo or anything like that to make them smell for the fish. Articulated streamers, you cannot fish. They're not single hooked. So if you have a streamer that's jointed and it's got a hook in the front, a hook in the back, that's actually the same as fishing ultimately a treble hook. Um, you can only fish single hook flies. So, you know, things like woolly boogers, et cetera, those are fine to fish. But whenever you get into some of these larger articulated flies, for instance, a drunken disorderly, that's a no-go on the delayed harvest. Another question I get, can I fish multiple flies? You can fish multiple flies as long as they're single hooks. So a double nymph rig or a dry dropper rig where you're fishing a dry and a dropper below it, perfectly fine as long as your, your fly itself is single hook. I believe that's about it. Um, if I'm missing anything, I'm sure people will mention in the comments here. But uh, yeah, October 1st through the first Saturday in June, delayed harvest is all catch and release, single hook, artificial only, no scent, no bait, no corn, no worms. Um, but y'all, this is a wonderful program to get into trout fishing. There's tons of fish in the river. They're very willing and they will eat for you. One thing to mention though, like I said earlier, that, that first Saturday in June, it is youth fishing only until 12 o'clock, I believe. Um, so make sure you're, you're aware of that as well. But yeah, there's kind of a brief recap on delayed harvest. Hopefully it's good info. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call in our Boone or Banner Elk location. Um, we'll be glad to help you out through it. Our shop phone number is 828-355-9109. Uh, so uh, another regulation we have quite a bit of around the Boone and Banner Elk area is wild trout fisheries. Let's talk about this for a second. As a fly angler, it's in my preference that I only practice catch and release. However, some people do like to keep a few fish. In a wild trout stream, which has this blue and gold diamond, you are allowed to keep fish. However, there's a size limit and there's also an amount that you can, a creel limit that you can keep each day. The size limit of the fish on a wild stream is seven inches or greater. And then the creel limit is four fish a day. There's no close season to wild trout fishing, so you can fish this year round. Um, so when hatchery supported is closed, you're fine to fish wild streams. However, you are not allowed to fish natural bait, so no corn, no worms, things of that nature. And it's uh, single hook, artificial only, so no treble hooks. If you're fishing rooster tails, things like that, make sure it's a single hook. Um, yeah, but yeah, so no close season, uh, seven inch minimum size for these fish, four fish a day, no natural bait, single hook, artificial only. But a wild fishing is a really good way to get into it. In the summer when our lower altitude creeks are getting too hot to fish, these wild streams still perform really well. It's a great way to fish year round. But uh, anyways, there's a lot of wild fishing opportunity in the Boone and Banner Elk area and feel free to hop on it. Another uh, designation I'd like to speak about is hatchery supported waters. Um, there's quite a bit of hatchery supported waters in our area. You'll know you're on a hatchery supported stream when you see the white and green diamond. Here's the deal with hatchery supported. You can keep fish out of it. There is a seven fish a day limit, so you can keep seven fish a day of any size on hatchery supported. As far as bait and lure restrictions, anything goes. You can use artificial, um, you know, worms, corn. There are no lure restrictions at all. However, one really, really important thing here, guys, hatchery supported streams are closed for the month of March. So basically the first Saturday of April, the hatchery supported streams open to fishing and that will continue until the last day of February. But I cannot emphasize this enough. On most areas, there's a few reservoirs and a few stretches of streams where this isn't applicable. You can find those in the North Carolina uh, wildlife handbook, but for Almost all hatchery supported streams, green and white, they will be closed the month of March. 
do not fish them. You will get a hefty fine if you're found fishing these streams during that time. A lot of folks get confused and think that trout season starts in April. The truth of the matter is, is that delayed harvest streams, the black and white diamonds, will start getting stocked and are open to fish in March. The green and white diamonds are not open to fish. So I've heard many a tale of folks thinking they were fishing a delayed harvest stream in, in March, but they're actually on a hatchery supported stream, ended up getting a ticket. So make sure you're, you're very uh, cognizant of which section of river you're on. Make sure that if you're on a green and white stream, it's not during the month of March. Um, hatchery support is closed during that time and it'll open back up that first Saturday of April. But uh, nonetheless, it's a good program. The state will stock a lot of fish and streams during these times. But once again, April, first Saturday in April, all the way through the last day of February, you're good to fish it. Just stay off of it um, during March. You can find stocking schedules on the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission website for both hatchery supported and delayed harvest streams. So a quick Google search, um, we could probably put a link into some of these maps. Um, you'll find schedules for the state of North Carolina as to where and when they'll be stocking both of these streams, which is super handy. So say you're driving up to the mountains for a weekend to fish, you might want to check those out just to make sure that you're not, you know, just before stocking or something of that nature. But um, yeah, definitely poke around the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission website and you'll find a lot of good info too. But I just can't emphasize it enough with delayed harvest starting. This is a, a catch and release fishery. The black and white diamond is catch and release, artificial only, no gulp, no power bait, no scent, no worm, no corn. Again, if you have any questions about this, feel free to call our shop, 828-355-9109. Uh, Thanks a lot, guys. Tight lines.